Good morning. This is Monday, February 27th, and today's devotion is the impoverished ministry of Jesus. This is John 4. Where then do you get that living water? And that's the woman at the well. The well is deep, and even a great deal deeper than the Samaritan woman knew. That's John 4. Think of the depths of the human nature and human life. Think of the depths of the wells in us. You have been limiting, or we have been limiting, or impoverishing the ministry of Jesus to the point that he is unable to work in our lives. Have we been doing that? Have we been impoverishing Jesus and the ability to minister through us? Suppose that you have a deep well of hurt and trouble inside your heart, and Jesus comes and says to you, let not your heart be troubled. Would your response be to shrug your shoulders and say, Jesus, the well is too deep, and even you can't draw up quietness and comfort out of that well that's within me. Actually, that is correct, because Jesus doesn't bring anything up from the well of human nature. He brings it down from above the Heavenly Father. We limit the Holy One of Israel by remembering only what we have allowed Him to do for us in the past, and also by saying, of course I cannot expect God to do this particular thing within me. The thing that approaches the very limits of his power is the very thing we as disciples of Jesus ought to believe that he can do, that he will do. We, we impoverish and weaken his ministry in us the moment that we forget that he is the Almighty. The impoverishment is in us, not in him. We will come to Jesus for him to be our comfort or our sympathizer, but we, we may or we will refrain from approaching him as our almighty God. He can do anything. The reason some of us are such poor examples of Christianity is that we have failed to recognize that Christ is the almighty. We have Christian attributes and experiences, but there is no abandonment or surrender to Jesus Christ of the self. When we get into difficult circumstances, we impoverish his ministry by saying, of course he can't do anything about this. And we struggle to reach the bottom of our own well, trying to get water for ourselves from our own well. Beware of sitting back and saying it can't be done. You will know that it can be done if you will look to Jesus. That's what she did. When she finally recognized Jesus as the Messiah, she realized that he could bring her that living water. The well of your incompleteness runs deep. But make the effort to look away from yourself and look towards Jesus. And that's the challenge I have for us today is do we have a well of self They'll keep, that we keep trying to draw from? And if so, will we allow Jesus to bring down that water from heaven, that living water today? So ask yourself, are we trying to draw from the well of self within us? Or will we allow Jesus to bring down that living water from, from the Father above? Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you are indeed the Almighty God, that there's nothing that you cannot do. So today, Father, if there's somebody out there struggling, if they're trying to draw water from a well of self, it could be a well of hurt or a well of sadness, if they're still trying to draw water from that well, I pray, Father, that they would see that the living water comes only from you, and that they would surrender themselves and allow themselves to see the Messiah. We thank you, Lord, for being our almighty God, and we pray this in his name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.